Hey guys, how's it going? Well, another thing about living in by the lake is that uh, you get a lot of junk. So this particular bucket is just from the springtime this year. We get many, many buckets. We actually have a whole bunch of buckets of random crap we've pulled out of the water. Now, along with things like car bits, golf balls, metal bits, you also get a lot. I mean, okay, look at it in there, all these metal chunks. You get a lot of these things. Now, we believe it's aluminum. But by believe, I mean it's just a guess. We don't know what this stuff is. We've been getting it for like, you know, 16 years on the shoreline. It's metal or metallic. I don't know what type of metal. It could be aluminum. But we have like pounds of it. I'm not lying. We have pounds of it. We have these buckets full of these things. I don't know what it is, where it comes from, why it's here, or why we have so much of it. I mean... Okay, you know, you have a little bit of it, it makes sense, that's cool, I understand, there's a little bit of it. But when you, like, continually, day after day, get this weird, molten rock, not rock, sorry, weird molten metal, it's pretty odd. So we don't know where it comes from, some people say it's melted down pop cans, but I just, I have a hard time believing that there's that much pop cans for this area. And what I mean by that is, we're not in a city, okay? Where we are on Lake Ontario is easily 40 kilometers from a major city that way or that way and 50 kilometers all the way across the water is Toronto. So it's not really like we have a lot of people here. It's not like we've had centuries or generations of garbage or pop cans thrown in here. This is essentially a pristine coastline on Lake Ontario. A lot of the rock that's pulled out of here, it's first time being seen by human eyes. Uh, no one even comes out here. This is all farmland for 100 kilometers pretty much straight along this lake is all pure farmland. Which And a lot of it is um, owned by families that have owned the land for hundreds of years. So physically, the amount of humans that have trudged into this water and explored what's along this piece of Lake Ontario, it's, it's actually kind of low. Much lower than you'd get in some of the other areas uh, of Ontario with Lake Ontario. So that's why we find it perplexing that there's so much metal within here. Anyway, you've probably seen some of my other videos about the um, flower pot rocks. These strange round rocks and our coral reef that we found. This is just some of the rock from the spring. We pull up, as I said, all kinds of rocks. It's all over our property. Um, we love the rocks. We love geology. It's pretty cool stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And if you have any information about this stuff that I found, let me know because I am, I'm more than happy to learn. I'm more than happy to explore. And uh, if you actually know more about this area and you're curious to come down and actually explore it you know feel free to hit me a message because if you have the expertise we have the facilities to accommodate so please have a good day